Hey everybody, it's me, your old pal Dan Classic, and this week we're gonna do something just a little bit different. You know, I get asked a lot well, about my- Well, you certainly don't get asked a lot about anything on the comments page on YouTube. Well, obviously I wasn't talking about here, I was talking about in real life. Right. No, really, I do get a lot of questions. Of course you do. Whatever. Anyway, I do get asked a lot of questions about this room that we shoot in, so I thought it would be a good idea to give everybody a tour. Wait a minute, Gorilla. You're just trying to backlog an easy episode to save time. What? No. I legitimately think people want to you see You said it yourself, Gorilla, that it would be easier just to crap out a quick Shut video. Up, just or... Raz Holly, hit the music! It's, it's almost like he's like a So this is it. My game room slash office slash whatever the fuck. After living in a small apartment in Colorado, it's nice to have a house with a room dedicated to all my junk here in California. So you're a California man too, eh? I'm from Hollywood myself. Oh yeah? Where in Hollywood did you grow up? Uh, Main Street. So let's get started by taking a look at my collection of Lucha Libre masks. Well, it's pretty obvious that I like them. I've been collecting them for a while. I have masks of various levels of quality from different places and makers. Mexico, Japan, all over the place. They sell these all over the place here in Southern California too. So it's a pretty cool thing to collect. So, back in the old stomping grounds, huh? Must be good to be back in Cali. By the way, nobody here calls it Cali. Oh, I know. I was just testing you, Gorilla. Anyway, the rest of my house is pretty normal. This game room, for lack of a better term, since I hate the term man cave, I mean, it sounds like a euphemism for your butthole or something. Anyway, we've got a normal house, and then there's this room. The man cave. Shut your Minnesota pie hole, Ventura! I told you, I'm from Hollywood, Gorilla! So here's my TV stand. I got that for free from a friend of ours. Got my 42-inch television. It's kind of an older hand-me-down TV on there, but it's great because I can play the old systems on there. I don't like to keep too many things hooked up on it at once. You know, um, while these things are relatively safe, they are 30 years old. <laughs> and there's a PS3 right there. It's kind of a, a primary thing. I can watch DVDs and stuff in here. I don't typically do that. I do more of the gaming in this room, obviously. I can keep, uh, here's a top loader NES, my SNES, all sorts of uh, wires and controllers and everything else. This thing's pretty great for, uh, for storage. I've also got my Atari 2600 down there. And it works out pretty well. And speaking of old stuff, let's take a look at my Atari collection. I've got around 100 games for it. I've also got a couple games for the ColecoVision and a couple games for the Intellivision as well. I don't play this stuff as much. Um, the Atari does get some play, but man, those... Those other two systems really, I mean, they really show their age. And for as much as I, I like collecting them, man, they're just, you know, they don't hold up, honestly. Um, the Atari stuff, on the other hand, man, Missile Command, Pitfall, Space Invaders, man, all that stuff, it totally holds up. And I, and I do play it a lot. That's why the Atari is out and hooked up all the time. So here's my Sega Genesis, Sega Master System, N64, uh, Super Famicom, Super Nintendo, all that stuff. Got some Amiibos on here, the Zelda ones, and there's my uh, Winged Eagle World Heavyweight Championship. It's one of my 
Benny Perler bead pieces. This one's got about 10,000 in it. And there's always wrestling brickerback around my house. Here's the, the nano metal figs, and here's the first two series of those Hasbro style retro WWE figures. Look for them in a future episode because I am about to crack those things open. And here's my NES collection. Um, at one point in time, I had about 500 games in this. Uh, I want to get it down to about 50. I'm going to concentrate more on action figures and shit like that. Um, but yeah, definitely a great, great system. Ah, I remember in the 1970s, I used to go to the arcade to play video games. Which arcade? Uh, the Hollywood Arcade? So, the room's kind of a work in progress. There's always new stuff in here. There's always new artwork. There's always new craft projects, video games, action figures, stuff like that. I kind of change my tastes pretty regularly as far as like what I want to collect. So, here's the Dreadnoughts right now. Um, I've just kind of finished up collecting all of these and I've been doing the series and look forward to those in the future. I've got some more, you know, NES stuff, SNES stuff. I've got a Super Famicom right there. Some little Bullet Club uh, wrestling buddies. <laughs> and my uh, big collection of Amiibos that I don't want. And they go all the way across my windowsill. <laughs> and I do have some more modern stuff. Um, you know, if you consider PS1 modern. <laughs> and I got some PS2 and all the way up to PS4 and Xbox One stuff. Got some of my LJNs there. I don't even have all my LJNs displayed, and that's kind of a big uh, sticking point for me. And I need to have that, but you know, I just don't have room at the moment. So, gotta get rid of some stuff, and so I make some room for my LJNs. I've got these hardwood floors. People love these, but they're hard to keep clean. Don't worry, that stain isn't semen. Oh, you know what? It is Seaman. So, fans of the video series may remember this couch. I mean, who am I kidding? People that have watched the videos might rem recognize this couch. And its I got it a couple years ago for my birthday, and it's pretty awesome. It's really, really comfortable. And on the back, I've got this scarf that my sister made for me. It's approximately 12 feet long. It's modeled after the fourth Doctor from Doctor Who. I know, I'm like not the only nerdy fuck that has one of these, but I am really proud of it. It's pretty awesome. Uh, my sister is awesome, too. So, obviously, I've got way too much shit in this house. Um, but, <laughs> when you've got a lot of stuff, you've got to find a way to store it. And um, these shelves that I've got here are pretty cool. They've got these little cubby holes in them. And um, on the bottom of the cubby holes, as you can see right here, there's these little pull-out drawers. And I keep all my wires and controllers and other video game junk in there. And, you know, and then this dresser acts like a shelf and you can keep all this other shit out. Ah, it's great to have such good storage when space is at a premium. I remember back in Hollywood. Ah, uh, no. N no. That's not it. Uh, I don't think so. Um, no. Um, no. Ah, yeah, the good old Hollywood days back in Cali, Fornia. So we're getting toward the end here, and let's take a look in the office area. So you've seen this in the opening of the show. These were made out of perler beads, and I love those things. It's the ones that I've kept out. And I, over here I've got the Street Fighter Nano Metal Figs. I got the Star Brigade Destro. I can't wait to open that thing up for a review. And then there's even more Nano Metal Figs. The WWE series all opened up. Got a blueprint for the Tricycle. 
Here's my autographed uh, 4x6 or whatever it is of Shinsuke Nakamura. Various stuff on the wall, some fan art, if you can believe that. And if you do send me some fan art, I promise I'll put it on my wall, and you may see it in a future video. Up here is my big shelf with my uh, Series 1 of the LJN figures, and some Hasbros, and some Galoob WCW guys, and Mad Balls, and various other bric a brac and nonsense. I got my toy winged eagle, and here it is, one of my favorite things, my, my Hasbro ring uh, that Raz restored for me. You know, it's just a bunch of other stuff. I've got some artwork as well. You know, every all my little uh, 8x10s here, all these paintings, they're all for sale. So if you want to, you know, contact me, we can, we can work something out. And I am pretty cheap. So here, check these out. Here they are all across... The top of the window seal. I've got some more paintings. Um, I don't paint as much as I used to. I'd like to get back back into it, actually. And finally, here it is. Here's my desk. This is right behind where my computer usually goes. And uh, I've got all these action figures staring me in the face while I do it. Um, I have way too much stuff in my room, but I wouldn't have it any other way. And I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at what goes on in my room. Well, that's all for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed the room tour. Ha <laughs> ha Yes, it's always good to show off that California lifestyle that I know so well. You're from Minnesota! Ha <laughs> ha, with a tan like this? Raz Holly, hit the music. Shut up, dude. Dang.